everybody, this is Dan Bigman from LearnGPR.com and I'm going to make a short video today that I wanted to deal with this issue because I got this question three times, okay? It's like the magic number. So I got a question three times um, and I'm going to address it in a very, you know, uh, very, very quickly. <clears throat> so the question was, you know, what do I feel about, this is an opinion piece, but what do I feel about automated anomaly detection algorithms, okay? And should they be used and should they not be used? I got did a couple talks recently and kind of the nail in the coffin for me to address this issue was a, a consulting client of mine uh, asked the same thing and they had they'd sent over some, some data for me to quickly look at that they did an automated, uh, um, they ran an algorithm on and it, you know, to detect uh, layers within their profile. Um, so here's, here, here's what I'll say is I think that the development of algorithms for uh, automated detection of anomalies is wonderful. I think that it's a great, great tool that we're getting now. Um, but I don't think that it's a replacement for human, uh, you know, interaction with their data. I think that people need to interpret their data as well. I don't think that it's a replacement, right? I think that it's a complement to it. It can be a huge time saver. And I've seen some cases where the detection of geological layers was outstanding. It was phenomenal. But I've also seen times where the detection of, um, of hyperbola was non-existent. And it was literally everything but the targets of interest were determined to be anomalies. So, I, I, you know, it's, it, it's still, I think, in its infancy. And I think that as the algorithms get even better, it's going to be an even better tool. Um, but I'm going to give you kind of a little parable uh, that I think really portrays my, uh, you know, my viewpoint on this. And here, here, here's what it is. When PayPal, the company PayPal, right, which takes, uh, you know, credit card transactions began, they had a massive problem with fraud. They had this wonderful system. It was completely automated, but people were gaming the system, right? There was a ton of fraud going on. The founders of PayPal, and I just read this, by the way, in, in, uh, in, in Zero to One, which is a book by Peter Thiel, one of the founders with Elon Musk of, of, of PayPal. Um, and I'll, I'll put a link actually below in the, in the summary here uh, so you can go check it out because it's a great – if you're starting a business, it is a great book to go get. Um, but anyway, what he talks about in there was founding of PayPal. They're getting a ton of fraud, um, but they can't have a human behind every transaction because it's not scalable. So what they did was they created a system where the computer component took care of most of it, but then humans investigated any anomalies, I use the term there too, it's certainly appropriate, uh, you know, in transactions. And humans would have to go in and sort of really grind out at those. And so they, their solution was a computer-generated and human-generated system that allowed PayPal to grow without the amount of fraud and then allowed it to be sold, you know, for, for over a billion dollars to, to eBay. Um, but even for PayPal, right, they used automated systems and human uh, uh, interaction and involvement in order to create a phenomenal product that transformed the way that people pay online. And so I think with GPR data processing and interpretation, I think that using algorithms is incredible. I think if you're pressed for time especially, using algorithms can at least draw your attention to um, potential you know, reflections of interest, especially geological layers. I have found that geological layers um, that, that these algorithms generally do a better job of identifying those um, versus identifying um, you know, linear targets of interest uh, uh, you know, on, on, in, in sort of like the, the plan view map plane. So, uh, so that's what I got for you. And if you are enjoying these videos, if you're getting something out of these videos, um, then definitely subscribe. Hit the button below to subscribe, and I will keep bringing you uh, these videos every single time. If you have not, if, if, if some of this stuff doesn't make sense and you want some more background, then go to our website, learngpr.com, and sign up for our free training over there. So thanks as always. Happy surveying, and I will see you on the next video.